Hello there, I'm Vanessa Joanne. I'm a past life psychic, and we're gonna talk about how the inner child is connected to past life karmic lessons. Hey guys, thank you again for joining me on to this video. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. Otherwise, welcome if you are regular here that comes every week. We're gonna talk about something pretty interesting. It's about the inner child and it's about master lessons and also about how that ties into past lives as well. I love, love, love talking about all these sort of things. So if you wanna tune into more of my content, I have all things about quantum healing, um, future lives will be coming soon, past lives, parallel lives, all the good stuff. So with today, we want to really talk about inner child, how that's connected to our life lessons and how we can actually understand and heal through that as well. So first of all, let's, I haven't really done many videos about this, but let's talk about the inner child for a second. All right. The child is also something that I will be talking more videos about in general, but let's just get really like, get just scraping through the surface, right? The child is essentially that little part in us that has been with us since we were a little baby all the way up to this point of time. Past lives as well is something that I've spoken about a bit on this channel, but past lives is essentially a part of your soul that's been different people in past lives or lifetimes um, before or now um, that you're living at the moment to learn those lessons, in particular master lessons. And that's what comes into master lessons is those main lessons you want to learn in your lifetime. So we have multiple and huge lessons that we need to learn, but we we always have like, you know, three main lessons that we're here to learn. And that is what we're going to focus on as a soul to create life experiences to really kind of learn those lessons in our human life. So what does that little part in you, that inner child, tell you about your karma? So the, the beautiful thing about inner child work is that you actually are really healing a lot of the past life karma that you haven't learnt in other lifetimes. Whatever is the main, main theme in your childhood that you've learnt or you've had to navigate, you might not even been able to heal yet, um, is the main lesson your soul is here to learn. As we're told, as inner child work, like any psychologist would tell you and anyone would tell you like whatever you had in your childhood if you don't heal it you're gonna repeat the patterns of your father wound is like your next relationship and your mother wound is kind of like your sister wound which is kind of like over this and then you know there's we people people join the dots to our childhood as being the main source and branching out into each of those wounds i guess that manifest in different relationships and situations and careers and all that stuff but what if we went a little bit deeper there? Your inner child is actually the third in line, okay? So what I mean by this is that it actually starts with your past life selves that are the running theme of your inner child wounding, right? And then the next one is the ancestral healing on that. So we actually are manifested not only by our soul and our own individual past lives, but also we want to heal ancestral healing too. We're here to heal patterns in our family that need to be broken or need to be done, right? Or cleared or maybe repeated, right? For some of us, Not everyone here is to clear and break all the patterns. Like we're here to learn what we're here to learn. And some people are meant to repeat the pattern so then the next person in line can heal it. Um, so that's something to know as well. We're not, not every single person's a light worker where they're here to learn and clear and do, like not everyone's meant to. Some people are meant to repeat the pattern. So the person that, the soul that does it Four, year, four lifetimes further in the future, they can break that pattern that they've repeated. So it's almost like a cycle. It's like a wheel that we're sort of learning as well. Um, but yeah, it actually starts with your past lives. Then it goes into ancestral healing or whatever the ancestral patterns are. And then the manifestation of that as well is their inner child. So past lives is important, but we also don't want to forget the ancestral part because our soul, once again, makes up those lessons. So he goes, okay, I really feel like I'm the person that's going to break this pattern in this family. So I'm going to see what I can need to learn on a, on a master level um, with my own self, but also what can I do to help that family name, right? And you heal that or, you know, whatever comes from that, that is how it's manifested as well. Very unlikely 
you're, you are just going to come out <laughs> and learn a lesson that has nothing to do with your family, right? It's always got to do with the family. So we can't forget that that is the second part to the puzzle before the inner child is even born, before it's even created through that. It's very important when you do this as well, that you're very aware of the people in your life. Who is your mother in this life? You know, if you've got that awareness, you know, wonder, you can always even just wonder and ask spirit, like, what was my mom in a past life to me? And what do I need to learn through her? Or maybe it's mother, your father in this life or your brothers, your sisters. If you've got tiff with people in your life, that's generally karmic, right? If you get along really well or you have like, you get along, you glue, like glue and then you get along really good and then you sort of go away um, and maybe you have a bit of friction, but then you come back together and you learn they most likely soulmates, right? But the, those that come together, that is like fire and flame, it, it's the, that's very karmic to me. So if you have those people in your life, in your family particularly, they generally are very karmic lessons you need to learn. And they can be part of your soul family. Um, I will, I'm, I'm obviously going to do a video about it anyway. But, you know, we want to know that, you know, sometimes we, if we, it's really intense calm, really intense energy, we just don't get along. I don't get it. It's generally because it's very karmic as well. So that can be part of the, the, once again, the puzzle for you to learn those lessons as a child so you can outgrow that and heal that and heal potentially your relationship with that person as well. Another really significant point is we were psychic and spiritual as kids, but we were just taught not to because oh, like... I've said this so many times, but if we knew everything about our past lives and who we were, then we would actually get really discouraged. We wouldn't actually think of why we're here. I feel like in a way, do you know the term um, Truman Show? That's how I think this all plays out, right? We're, we're watched by spirits, guides, angels. We've set things out he didn't know, but we've set things out we want to do. Um, and then when we're here, we don't really know about it because we're not here to know about it, right? We're here to learn what we need to. Then we leave and go to the next life or we, we move on. We do whatever we need to do based on our soul. It's important to know that your interests, the things that you're drawn to, you're passionate about as a kid, generally is things you've been in past lives or something that you've been fascinated with even like if you loved you know police or doctors or law like if you know what you're here to do as a kid generally that can mean you're in tune with your purpose and that's awesome um otherwise it could be a sign that you've been that in a past life and you're wanting to be that again um but of course life teaches you lessons along the way of where you need to go and you're always where you're meant to go right life will always direct you that path and what i feel is that it takes about 25 years before your childhood wounding is like laid out okay you can heal of course absolutely you can heal but generally from like the 25 years, from zero to 25, that is generally when you stop growing as a human, right? We, our brains don't grow anymore. Um, you know, we don't get any taller or anything, um, you know. So that is kind of like the start and ending of the growing phase as a human. So from then on, it's kind of like, well, what's the next 25 years going to do based on all the wounds you've learned in those 25 years? And then we start learning from 25 onwards, like quarter life crisis, right? We start learning about our life, what we need to do. Oh, why did I do that at 20? And all that stuff is that we have the first 25 years of learning and growing and evolving as a human, learn those hardest lessons back then. And then the next 25 years is kind of like, yeah, it's that next level of, of facing, clearing, healing. And some people don't do that and that's okay as well. But that generally is a rule of thumb of what have you learned in those 25 years of your childhood stuff particularly, but also your early 20s as well, because that's going to allow you to understand even more that remember, everything comes from the childhood in terms of this human life. So from what we know, your childhood wounds are reflections of your past, your partners, your family, your, all these things that manifest through your childhood wounds. But know that that wounding, that lessons, those things you went through needed to, needed to be done so you could get into your Pamasa lesson. So based on this information, do you feel doomed or do you feel like this is a good growing perspective for you? I think it's a lot of growth to this. Yes, knowing everything is not always the best, right? But what we can do through this information is that we can allow it to give us the insight, the awareness and the understanding over things that we've gone through. It's going to give us that pressure and that 
that that I guess victim mentality that we might have and allows the ego to take a back seat so you can actually see what is true and what is the real lessons here what are you here for you know we're here to learn those master lessons and unfortunately it has to start in the childhood otherwise how is your life going to map out to to really learn the master lesson so being a bit more aware and kind to yourself in those moments it's going it's what's going to allow you to be not so hard on yourself, but also give you permission to heal this and to know that you might naturally heal it in this life. That's cool. But I feel like if you watch this, you're obviously inclined to heal more. And then when we heal more and have more awareness, we fast track our healing, right? Yes, we heal every day. We're all healing every day. Everyone, even if you're not spiritual, even if you're doing nothing, right, on this earth. Like, let's say you're just living a normal life. You're still healing, right? Because you're still dealing with every challenges. You're dealing with everything. But you're on a slow, it's like a snail, right? A snail that's like trying to get to the other side of the house. It's ages away. But when you actually have the awareness and drive to heal these aspects, you're fast tracked. You're literally like a cheater now. You're running. You're literally like sprinting to a new life and a new way of living instead for the snail who's still doing the work, still working, but it's not as fast. And that's the way this all works. It's the, the duration, the intensity and the length of how fast you get to where you want to go. And those things are in the way, you know. Sometimes we never heal the chorus wounds and if we don't heal the master lesson, the overall master lesson. Let's say that you're taking the real slow route, all right? You did not do any healing. You didn't grow from any challenges that life threw at you and you feel like, you know, at the end of your life, you're just like, I didn't really learn too much. I didn't really do anything. I didn't really, I didn't treat that person nice. I didn't, you know... I blamed everyone for all my stuff. Like I didn't take any responsibility. I bl- I just became really narcissistic potentially. You know, that's going to make you reassess as a soul of going, okay, did I learn that master lesson that I was said that I was here to learn? And you'd ask yourself that. And if, if nothing, if you felt, well, it's not even a human thing here. It's not even a feeling thing. If your soul was like, nah, I did not learn what I needed to learn. Then you need to go back and do another round and learn another life. And that's just how it all works, right? That's how karma works at its core. And we don't always learn that master lesson, but sometimes we are able to fast track that healing. And like I said, you can heal. You can heal, but not learn the master lesson, okay? Because the master lesson is the main lesson that you need to fully be like the cocoon to the butterfly. You have to fully process each phase to get there. And some people just heal on that sort of slow, you know, that snail that I was saying. Or some people actually actively want to work on it. They heal it, they transmute it, they upgrade, their life upgrades and they're able to be that butterfly. To really answer your question, there's never a doom moment. There's a potential for growth. And when you grow and when you're aware is when you're actually able to grow into the next version of yourself and be able to heal that and work through that. Like we're just going to say again is that your childhood wounding was mapped out for a reason, okay? For good or for bad. The good or the bad doesn't matter. Soul doesn't see it that way. It sees it growth and The more that you can actually see your life like that, the easier this is all going to be. And the more you're going to get out of your ego and get more into your truth and know that this came up, this was what needed to happen so you could heal it the most and you actively can heal it as well. So hopefully I'd love to hear if you're on that fast track of healing. I'm sure you are if you're watching this video. If you've got need a little bit extra help and stuff, like please know I'm going to be offering services and things like that from next month. So if you're really just interested to book in a session, that is totally fine as well. Other than that, please subscribe if you enjoy, guys. Thank you so much for this video. Let me know if it was helpful. Love any feedback and I will see you guys all in the next video. Namaste.